Hello, this is Dr. Eric Lund, your Roseville neck and back pain relief chiropractor, specializing in short-term treatment for neck and back pain relief. So ice versus heat for neck or back pain. So it's a very common question uh, that I'm asked. Uh, and the answer is, is typically you want to uh, use ice. Uh, but first I want to talk about heat because most patients prefer heat and they think that heat is uh, the right answer. So a couple things as it pertains to heat. The tricky thing with using heat on your neck or back when you have pain is that when you put the heat on, it actually is going to feel good and that's why many people um, think that they should use heat because they're in pain, they put the heat on, it feels good. When you have the heat on, it will actually temporarily relax some of those spasmed or tight muscles. But what happens is, is when you have pain, a lot of times you have inflammation as well. And when you heat something, you can drive more inflammation uh, into the joint, so into the neck or into the back where you're having your pain. It can increase the swelling, but you don't have pain at that time that inflammation and swelling will build up and so then you may have pain hours later or the next day and so you don't connect that the heat is potentially making uh, the pain worse and also oftentimes when you have the heat on it feels good at that time when you have it. But again a lot of times when there's neck or back pain there's inflammation and one of the things that we want to do is reduce the inflammation and that's what icing will do. Ice when applied to the neck or the back will work to reduce the inflammation and that's what we want to do. So put ice on your neck or on your back for 20 minutes, take your hour or two off, ice again 20 minutes um, and that way there's, there's really no risk of the pain getting worse and it can only be helpful. Um, sometimes if people really want to use heat um, you know, I'll tell them you can put that on maybe for five, six minutes, but then ice right after immediately for 20 minutes. If you do it that way, uh, you're not going to be at any risk of increasing the inflammation or swelling into the joint. So again, it's always best rule of thumb to stick with that ice, using it for 20 minute uh, increments. And again, uh, if you do that for a few days, if your pain still isn't where you want it to be, uh, then come in and see me. That usually means that if it's not responding with a few days of icing on its own, it's going to need some additional help uh, to improve the pain. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Dr. Eric Lund, your Roseville neck and back pain relief chiropractor.